Hello everyone, this is Dr. Juwad. If you're new to my channel, thanks for watching. If you haven't done so already, please hit the subscribe button down below. And right next to it is the bell notification. When you slam that button, when I upload videos, you'll be first to be notified either email or through your YouTube account. If you're watching on Facebook, thank you very much. If you haven't done so already, please hit the like button down below. And if you find this information valuable, please share with a friend. Thanks for watching and enjoy the video. Hello everyone, this is Dr. Juwan. In the short video, I'm gonna answer a question that's asked a lot, and that is, I have fatigue, irritability, forgetfulness, lack of motivation, lack of desire, low libido. What's going on? I feel like I have brain fog. I feel like my brain's inflamed. And the answer is, yes, it is. How? Well, when the body's inflamed, okay, the body has receptors which, which delineate pain, okay? The brain, we don't have these, these receptors in our brain that says, hey, I'm on fire, I'm in pain. So how does the brain react to any type of inflammation, you ask? Good question. It decreases the mental cognition, which is basically the mental function. Also too, it leads into hormonal imbalances. The main hormones that the brain loves is serotonin, calms you down, dopamine, revs you up, and cortisol, which is, which is for inflammation. So when your brain's inflamed, it's gonna zap, zap all that. Why do you not experience it again? Because we don't have receptors in our brain. That'd be too easy. So what are the symptoms? Again, I just, I, symptoms could be low energy, irritability, irritability because of lack of serotonin, insomnia. Our body repairs itself when we're sleeping due to the rest, digest, and repair the parasympathetic division of the nervous system. Low motivation, you just don't feel like doing anything. The dopamine zapped. Headaches, anxiety, confusion, trouble concentrating. I teach and I see a lot of my students have trouble concentrating. You don't think that's due to brain inflammation? Now, how? I always say this, it'd be a lot easier if you fell off the bus. That would be very, very simple, but how does it happen? Because high levels of inflammatory molecules called uh, adipose cytokines and histamines, what happens, it stimulates microglia activation. What is microglia, you ask? Good question. That's the immune response in our brain. So those microglia cells get inflamed and then that is what causes all the cascade. Lack of sleep. Okay, when we sleep, our body goes into what's called the parasympathetic division dominance, which again, that's our repair system. And we're not sleeping correctly. Again, we're gonna have, we're not going to, we're not gonna be able to focus. Nutritional deficiencies, there's a lot of things. Again, our brain, our brain wants nutrition, uh, nutrition, proper nutrition to function. Poor diet, sugar causes inflammation all over. Alcohol, refined carbs, yes, that will cause systemic inflammation. Hormonal imbalances like serotonin, dopamine, cortisol, all those hormonal imbalances will lead to brain inflammation. If you have lead to brain inflammation, it will lead to de uh, decline in cognitive function. Now, again, the question is, what do you do? Well, first and foremost, you want a cleaner diet. I always say diet is key. Get rid of the sugar. Get rid of the refined carbs. Increase the lean proteins and dietary fats. Our bodies run on two things, that's lean proteins and essential fats. We need proteins for the amino acids to help build up tissue, and we need the dietary fats for cellular function. Our brain is 80% fat as is, so we do need dietary fats for proper brain function. This is not ho-ho's, okay? This is like avocados, omega fish oils, things like that. Stress management, stress management, Cortisol will burn out the brain in a heartbeat. Actually, increased cortisol is proven that it actually causes brain shrinkage. Sleep, we need sleep for repair. Exercise, exercise in of itself has a plethora of benefits. One, it helps reduce the heart, I mean again, it controls heart rate. It, it, it makes the cells more insulin sensitive, less insulin resistance. It's good for the brain because all those neurons are stimulating brain growth. Comprehensive blood panel, again, if you really want to figure out what's going on with your body, 
I'm a functional medicine practitioner, okay? I require, in order for me to work with my patients, is a comprehensive, comprehensive blood panel. What is that? I want to see the CBC, the chem. I want to see everything that's in that blood panel so I could have a starting block of how to treat my patients. Also, maybe food allergies. Do you have food allergies, which is causing a histamine response? Okay. And all these inflammatory markers, which is stimulating the activating the microglia, microglia activation, which is causing brain fog. So what do you do, again, with the diet? Supplements, supplements, adaptogens. There's a brand of herbs called adaptogens. These will help adapt, make your body adapt to stress by controlling cortisol. Holy basil, uh, maca, ashwagandha. I get my patients on a lot of ashwagandha if they don't have thyroid problems, okay? That's one thing you have to know for. Omega-3, omega-3 fish oil. Omega-3 fish oil has two important ingredients in there, EPA and DHA. One is good for the body, the other one is good for the brain. Vitamin B complex. The B vitamins, okay, are essential for the nervous system. Turmeric. Turmeric is a natural anti-inflammatory and organic green tea. Okay. Hope this helps. Again, reduce brain inflammation. Why it occurs. What can we do about it? Hope you enjoyed the video. Hit the like button down below. Leave a comment, leave a question, and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you very much.